So I'm bleeding the brakes on the 74 Corvette and I wasn't going to do a video but uh, as I bled the right rear which is the furthest from the master cylinder and I, I really don't believe that that makes a difference other than once you've got all the air out of the line uh, from the master cylinder to the furthest one away then the other ones go quicker but fluids being what they are it's not going to care which one's open which one's not um, but so this is the inside bleeder screw and I'm trying to get the cap off it's being stubborn um, but at any rate on these Corvettes that have two you need to bleed the inside before the outside because if you bleed the outside there's still air in the inside some may escape into the outside uh, chamber and you'll still have a problem there finally got it off so what I'm gonna do is get I'm gonna gravity bleed I'm gonna get a tube I'm gonna put it on this bleeder screw and I'm gonna run a, it to a jar simply open up the bleeder screw and see if any air comes out okay I've got the tube on it and I made sure that it goes up so I can see the fluid coming out so what I'm going to do now is crack that open. And let some fluid come out. Let's see if there's any air in it. So you can probably see the fluids coming out now. And coming up. And there is no air in there. So I'm going to shut it. The tricky part about doing this without making a mess is to get that line lower than where the fluid is and have it come out. The way I do that is I simply disconnect it from my capture jar, which I had sitting in the back, I didn't mention that. Um, so I'm going to hold this onto the bleeder screw. Attach this back to the capture jar. And now I'm going to put the capture jar lower so that all the fluid drains down into the capture jar and then I can take it off of the bleeder screw without making any mess at all. Okay, now I'm working on the outside bleeder screw. Uh, I've already got the tube hooked up to the capture jar. I've got the tube through, there's a bumper there. I've got the tube through that so that it remains in an upward position. And there we go. And I'm not taking a lot out of these because I'm not seeing any air bubbles in it. Uh, I do have a little bit of a little pedal, so I'm starting with the easy things first. And bleeding the calipers is the easy thing. Uh, this would give you a better idea of what I'm doing with the capture jar to prevent any fluid from spilling because it is very caustic. It will take the paint off of it, anything it gets on. So i just thread the line back through that, hook it back up to my jar, bring the jar and the tube down low 
and the fluid runs into the jar. And I can take the tube off. Uh, I've actually never done it this way before. I've tried this capture jar is from a Mighty Might suction brake bleeder and I've always had problems with it because I think when I put this tube on the nipple of the bleeder and start to put suction to it I never knew whether the air bubbles I was getting were coming in around the threads of the bleeder around the connection between the nipple and the tube and I think I pumped you know, way more brake fluid through the system than I had to. I just saw my cap from my inside bleeder. There wasn't one on the outside. So, it appears that there was nothing in the uh, back brakes, so I'm going to go to the front. So the front calipers are different. There's only one bleeder on the inside. No bleeders on the outside. Uh, it's designed a little bit different. The channel goes up through here. And then this is the high point. And since the brake fluid is heavier than air, it will have any of the air go to the top. And there are a couple air bubbles in this. Not a lot, but a few right at the beginning. There's still a couple small ones. Maybe that's why the brakes weren't exactly uh, up to the level I'd like them to be. It appears they're, they're all gone. They were just really small air bubbles, though. Maybe the problem's actually in the other side. And again, I'm going to hold this on. I'll lower my collection container, let all the fluid drain into it. back on and go to the okay there's a little bit of fluid in that uh, tube already it was actually excess that was left in the tube from the last wheel and when I put it on and, and got it it ran down a uh, couple things bear mention in here I am just bleeding this uh, you know, these, these brakes have no sign of leakage or anything like that, so it's kind of a just checking to see if there's air in the line thing. If you had taken a caliper off or anything like that, you would have had to uh, bleed the air out of the caliper and or the Okay, there's some drops coming out of there. Not much, but maybe it's enough that that's uh, what my problem was. There's about three big drops in it. You know, on the other side, and even the back, there's no way I could tell whether any came out at the beginning because this tube had no fluid in it. So maybe it's a good thing that I had a little bit of fluid in there in that last one. Um, but 
I don't know how much I got at in total, but there was a little bit of air in the lines. Uh, and I don't know if you could see it on the video, but you definitely could see it standing up next to the, um, to the tube and looking at it. Um, it, was, it was obvious there was a bit of air in the line. So, like I said, if you've taken the master cylinder off or opened up the brake lines or any of the calipers, you need to bleed a lot more fluid than this. This is just a, I was just checking to see if there was any air in the lines. Uh, I don't know if I got enough out of all of them to make the pedal where I want it to be, but I know I got some out, so it will help somewhat. The problem I was having is I couldn't lock up my brakes. They would stop the car, but if I jammed them on, I couldn't lock them. So it's kind of what I'm after. Uh, if bleeding the calipers doesn't help it, there will be another video because the next things to check are actually the linkage between the brake pedal and the master cylinder. The, the rod that pushes it could have play in it more than uh, is standard or stock or to spec, let's say. And that could cause the brakes not to fully engage because you simply can't press the pedal far enough to lock them up. And if that's not the case, then the other thing to check is, of course, the master cylinder. It may have some fluid bypassing the pistons in it, and uh, that, would, that would be a problem. So. There's the total amount of fluid I took out of all four, but like I said, um, other than this one and very small bubbles on the, the right front, this is the left front, very small bubbles. There are only about three or four bubbles in this one, so who knows whether more air came out when I cracked it open the first time and whether that was really, you know, a more effective bleeding than what it looked from the few bubbles I saw, at least on the other three. Uh, so, I kind of like this gravity bleeding. Uh, I could see where it would take a long time to, to do the whole system. And if you open up the master cylinder, it should be bench bled first. So the whole system is technically not the whole system because you've already bench bled the master cylinder. Uh, but it would, it would take a longer time. But I'll tell you what, I have a, a motive power bleeder and I had the Mighty Might uh, suction bleeder and this was the neatest and uh, less fluid to mess with and uh, if you can get it to work I would recommend it thanks for watching